coverage of, of vaccine is a, a need in order to protect the global population from the, the further spread of the virus. If we get that level of uh, what's so called herd immunity, we will be able to really slow down the transmission globally. But the 60-70% needs to be reached across the globe, so across countries. And if we have 90% in a country and 20% in another country, that doesn't work. My name is Emanuele Capobianco. I am the Director of Health and Care at the International Federation of the Red Cross, Red Cross and Societies, which is an organization that brings together 192 national Red Cross and Red Cross and Societies all over the world. There is a, a need to bring back the coverage across the world. And then within countries, we need to do the same. We need to make sure that we don't have pockets where you do have high coverage and then parts, uh, usually marginalized uh, parts of the society where you do have low coverage because that, that will continue to fuel the, the transmission of the virus. And so there is a public health argument that uh, reaching this, this level across countries and within countries will benefit everyone, the poor and the rich. The poorest 50 countries in, in the world account for 2% of, of, of the doses administered uh, globally. And if you look at the rate at which vaccines are being provided, the richest 50 countries are uh, being vaccinated uh, at a rate that is 27 times higher than for people living in the poorest countries. And Africa accounts for 1% of uh, doses that have been administered globally, and yet the, the, the population of Africa is 14%, the global population. COVID-19 discriminates uh, and affects uh, the most marginalized, disenfranchised, racialized communities uh, uh, more more than uh, than any other communities. If the health part is not is not taken care of, we are going to see more and more cases and more and more deaths in these communities. And deaths in a poor family means that that there's probably less money that enters that that family, which means kids dropping off uh, of schools which means uh, less money to buy food, which means uh, malnutrition, it means that, that girls will be uh, sold and married in order to take them out of the households. What we are seeing here is uh, our effects that could really uh, last for, for generations to come. Uh, so from a public health perspective to stop the fire from burning. And at the same time, we need also to open the window and do those, those interventions, this socioeconomic impact to take all the smoke that has been created as secondary effect out of the room so that we can, we can breathe. But we need to work really on, on both at the same time. We need to stop the fire and also try to take all the smoke that is coming uh, out, out of our house.